So idea one. So we're going to get into the nine ideas. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of time left in this so that we'll have a lot of Q&A time. So first idea, consult on emotional issues. So the concept here is to reach out to businesses to consult regarding emotional is issues during this time. This is not counseling, but consulting on big picture help. So for example, you know, if there's people that are now working from home and there's emotional issues or HR companies uh, or different things going on in your local businesses to reach out to them to consult on emotional issues. Uh, you have immense experience in regards to this. Uh, you have different ways of thinking through it. Um, it could be less an EAP type model and more that you're consulting big picture for the entire business. Uh, the time to implement this really is a matter of picking up the phone or emailing a company to talk through if this would be something that they would want to help maintain their current staff uh, and their current staff's well-being. You can even host Zoom calls you know, with their highest end people, with their C-level staff. These connections are going to be great for you. The implementation time, it's almost immediately. You don't really have a lot that you need to do other than to figure out the one or two topics that you could talk to or consult on. And the typical income for this is $200 to $500 per hour or so. So here's for ideal one, the exact steps. And I wanna encourage you to pull out your phone, take pictures. Yes, we can send you the slides, but honestly, it's gonna be you taking the things that matter most to you and implementing those. So first, <laughs> create a landing page on your website um, to discuss the problem, then the action and the typical results. Now, maybe you haven't done this before, but what are the expected results that a company would get from consulting with you? So then is this an individual or group offering? What's your focus that you're offering? Then directly call leads. So in this environment, most people will appreciate the direct and personal touch of a phone call. I would ask about their challenges and offer to brainstorm for a free 30 minute call um, and tell them, you know, my goal is that if we're a fit, that I can help you, um, that maybe we'll work together. But honestly, if I can just better our community um, with a 30 minute call on emotional issues in your workplace, I would love to do a free 30 minute call. <laughs> and then create a proposal. So what's a proposal? So typically what you cover in a proposal are the outcomes you're assisting with, the methodology. So how many sessions are you gonna do? Is it gonna be over one month? Is it gonna be over six months? Um, how is this tied to keeping their business afloat? So you know, looking into research about you know, if staff feel like they're emotionally taken care of during a crisis, they're more likely to come back. They're gonna have less rebuilding on the other end. To be able to save the typical cost outside of this um, of hiring an employee and lost productivity and actual HR cost is $5,000. Like, I don't know if that number's true, but say it is. That means that for every employee that we save from leaving your company during this time, it, you know, a $5,000 loss that you don't incur. And so the actual value of, of what we're talking about is a $50,000 value if you save 10 employees. Now, my consulting package is a mere $10,000 over six months. And so in retaining staff and other important outcomes, looking at that in your proposal. So number two, online group coaching. All right, so the concept here is to create a group with a clear purpose that you guide. It could be for couples, individuals, business owners. It could be non-therapeutic that you're using your skills, but it's not a therapy group. Now, with all of these, you wanna also look at your state licensure rules because there are some states that have different rules than others in regards to licensure. So depending on the audience reach, this could be really quick. And so if you already have somewhat of a following through your Facebook group or your Facebook page um, or on Instagram or you know, on Pinterest or other places, <laughs> then you could clearly create a support group that's not a therapeutic support group. So say it's for couples. You might charge $30 a month for this and have 20 couples that come and that's an extra $600 per month. That's a very typical and reasonable amount to get especially if you're connected in your community, especially if you're connected to other Facebook groups where people could share your information or you're connected to the admin. Let me just talk through the implementation of this. So first you're gonna to wanna to really identify, I'm sorry that slide isn't in there, I thought that was in there. So for idea two, implementation is really identify which type of people you want to connect with. So it could be couples. And then you want to market this group. I would say to admins of groups uh, on Facebook, so if there's a, a local mommy group, to maybe connect with that admin and say, here's what I'm offering. I um, would love to talk within your group, but I also don't want to violate any of your, your group actions within this. Um, and then you know, really start the group. Figure out the minimum way to do it. Zoom's a great way to do it. You could use uh, Hangouts on Google. 
uh, really make sure that you have a good idea of it. Get the basic structure set up. If it's $30 a month, you can use PayPal. Um, they have a PayPal subscriptions. All right, idea three. Uh, the concept is you've already probably created paperwork, handouts, or worksheets that you use within your private practice. You can sell them on Gumroad or on Practicat. Practicat's an awesome website that's aimed specifically at therapeutic tools and making money off of those to sell to other therapists or to sell to people. Um, Gumroad is a place that just has kind of online tools people can pay to download. So depending on what you have, um, this can be super fast that you just upload it to, to Gumroad or Practicat. Uh, if you need to clean it up a bit, you might use something like Canva.com, which is a free design software you can use to make it look a little bit prettier. So say you had uh, $10 per item and you sold 20 a month, you know, that's an extra $200 per month or so. So let's talk about launching idea number three. Uh, so first gather your paperwork. Does it look good? So if it doesn't look good, you don't really want to sell it. You, you want to have it look good for you. So if not, update it in Canva. Who is this applicable to and what pain does it solve? Is it a helpful solution? I mean, would you buy this thing? So for a lot of you, maybe you're super organized and uh, there's a lot of people right now that have no idea what they're doing when it comes to homeschooling, when it comes to children's behavior, when it comes to basic positive and negative consequences. You know, this morning, my daughter flipped a lid when I told her she needed to set the iPad down because she had her online tutoring. And so she doesn't get tomorrow morning to look at the iPad before her online tutoring. So usually she wakes up at 730. She you know, doesn't wake us up. She kind of goes around and does her own thing for a while and then is on the iPad for maybe an hour before she does her tutoring. Um, and that's been part of her rhythm and we haven't seen any behavior problems with that. But from there, you know, she had some behavior problems this morning. So I took that away. For us as therapists, that seems very normal to say, okay, we need to have some basics of behavior. Um, but for a lot of people, they have no idea how to do that kind of stuff. And so putting that stuff together by gathering that paperwork, making it look good, then uploading the content to Gumroad or Practicat. Um, there are two locations where people buy resources for a better life. And then marketing your content. Get onto podcasts, talk about it in online groups, put links to your, on your website, talk to the local news and radio so people know that resource is out there. Um, there are tons of people looking for people like you and me to be experts, whether it's podcasts, local radio, all sorts of different things that you can weigh in on um, to have things like that that you sell bring huge passive income. Now, earlier in January, I released a podcast interview with Chrissy Lawler. Uh, she has the Peaceful Sleeper um, on Instagram. And she, when she first came to me, she had probably 10,000 Instagram followers she had developed. And she teaches all about how to help your kids sleep when they're under the age of three. And she had these $5 um, different just workbooks she had put together. And they weren't long. They're 10, 20 pages, sold them for $5. And when we first met, I think she was making, I want to say $5,000 a month off of Instagram selling these little $5 things. So she then repackaged that as a $97 package where people got all of her workbooks. And she then also created an e-course that complemented that. And just a couple of weeks ago, she opened up 100 spots for that e-course at $97. And she sold out in 15 minutes. And so once you get that community going and those people, you can then follow up and find out what are the different things that they want beyond that initial thing that they purchased from you.